control how loud you yell or your fans that come with you yell. The fans are very, very, very close to the floor and the players, and so they feel part of it. Utah Jazz fans are known for being the loudest and rowdiest basketball fans in the country. <laughs> and when 20,000 of them come together for a Utah Jazz home game inside the Energy Solutions Arena, you better cover your ears. We get the fans going, we keep them going. Bear, our mascot's the best in the league, and when he gets out there and says cheer, everybody does. Grant Harrison is the vice president of game operations and promotions for the Utah Jazz. He says the NBA regulates just how loud the music and the special effects can be. However, the NBA has no control over the fans, and the Utah Jazz like it that way. In fact, the theme of this year's playoff season says it all, bring the noise a tribute to the loud and proud Utah crowds. We're known, we don't have to tell people we're the loudest arena, we're known for that. Your, you know, your commentators on national television are very aware of it. So we wanted to see just how much noise these fans can bring. We used a decibel meter to measure the noise level during game six against the Denver Nuggets. And the results, well, you guessed it, very loud. Darren Williams was introduced at the beginning of the game. The noise level measured at 110.3 decibels. Paul Millsap's dunk in the first quarter measured 110 on the meter. And Millsap's big third quarter block had fans on their feet screaming at a level of 111 on the decibel meter. To give you an idea of just how loud that is, a conversation with somebody sitting right next to you is about 50 decibels. A noisy restaurant measures about 70. A garbage disposal checks in at about 80 decibels. And a jet taking off is an eardrum piercing 130 decibels. The accumulation of repeated noise exposure is going to add up. Dr. Michael Walker is a hearing specialist with Intermountain Medical Center. He knows how loud jazz fans can get. In fact, the decibel readings don't surprise him at all. We're a pretty passionate crowd in Utah, <laughs> so I think uh, I think we're you know pretty noisy, and we're having a good time. But I think we need to protect. Being in the arena for just a few hours can lead to short-term hearing loss, like muffled hearing or ringing in the ears. In most cases, your hearing bounces back. Yes, noise is noise. Um, anyone can lose their hearing with that noise level. His advice to jazz fans, if you're bringing the noise, you might want to bring ear protection too. If you've got a lot of noise and you're speaking louder than usual, that's probably a time that you should wear some earplugs. Earplugs or not, jazz fans could very well be some of the loudest in the NBA.